My name is Lula Washington. I'm the artistic director of Lula Washington Dance Theater. This is a very exciting moment because we're doing a show on April the 2nd and we're sharing it with Pony Box, a new dance company here in Los Angeles. So we're very excited about the opportunity to share a program here and have our dance company perform because we're always on the road. My name is Jamie Carbetta Hammond. I'm the founder and director of Pony Box Dance Theater, a three-year-old company that is composed of all male dancers. What people most commonly ask me is why? Why only men? I noticed when I was teaching college that I loved making work for men. And when I would go to a performance, I always eagerly awaited the men's section of whatever ballet it was. And I'm very drawn to the quality that men have when they move. For me, it's the absolute apex of beauty, watching a group of finely trained men move together in a strong and powerful way. And so, in terms of having a company, I wanted to fully explore all my options as a choreographer with male dancers. A lot of Lula's work, ever since the beginning, has always dealt with what's going on today, right now today. So you have some works in our company that are relevant because they're talking about things going on, they're talking about things that happened in the past, they're questioning, but then they're also celebrating. And that's really what's important. When you come to see a Lula Washington show, you're going to learn something, you're going to feel something. Our goal is for people to leave uplifted and inspired and, and excited about the art of dance and how dance brings people together in so many ways. Jamie and I just had a conversation, really, and we said, you know, what do, what do we both need to do? We need to, we need to build, rebuild our, our visibility here in town. She needed an opportunity to, to showcase her company. So I said, why don't we just do this, let's try it together. So here we are, and it's, it's amazing. I feel really very grateful to be able to work with such an experienced company. Um, their history is amazing and what they've done for the community is amazing. Being an all-male dance company is great. It's nice to have that energy. There is some like indecisiveness with being all-male. There's, there's also the question, how do we lift traditionally dances female-male? So you have certain roles that are already um, embedded into what the choreography can be. And as male, all-male dancers, it's um, there's, it's a challenge and it's also an exploration to see what works with two male bodies and what movement works. Especially since we do have a strong uh, physique to us, it's to find the balance between not overpowering each other so it looks combative, but dancing and it's very much push and pull. You have to find a balance in uh, the masculine energy. And the work that I will be sharing on the program is a dance called Search for Humanism performed by an original score created by Marcus Miller, my son-in-law. And uh, it's a piece that's dealing with issues of what's happening in the American cities across the United States in terms of the violence and the senseless killings of young black male of all ages. The next piece is called Global Village. And that piece is more of a celebration of uplift of movement that any audience member can say, oh, I know that step, I've seen it. My whole goal in creating a dance called Global Village is to bring people together in a movement environment because we all live on this one planet and we all need to get along. We're going to be performing two works, The Line and The Collective. Both of them deal with the pressure to conform, which is very powerful at all levels of our society and being able to transcend and overcome that pressure so that we can really be our real true selves. The piece that I'm sharing is called Together and it's another piece that has uh, original music created by my husband, Marcus L. Miller inspired by a couple, a family, who went to visit Malaysia right when the tsunami happened and their story of being together and separated and trying to find each other and, 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 and that desperation. So, so many things have happened in the world, so many natural, major catastrophes mm -hmm. have happened, whether they were nature 
or whether they were put on us by men in the last few years that I wanted to look at that couple that was just walking down the street having a good old time and then all of a sudden their whole life their is disrupted. Their whole life is disrupted. Almost like the bombings that just yeah. happened yeah. in uh, Brussels. I think everyone will be inspired and enjoy the work. Uh, and it's great to be able to have the opportunity to share uh, different parts of, of myself, different parts of me as an artist um, through working with these two, two different companies. It, it is wonderful gathering of rep. So you're getting to experience all different kinds of, of dance. Both companies explore fusion style dancing. So we're taking things and elements from all the dancers that are in the company and blending them into the choreography. Thank you to the Department of Cultural Affairs for the City of Los Angeles for helping to make this possible. We want to say thank you to the Parsons Foundation for always supporting the arts. And we want to say thank you to you guys in advance for showing up to the show. Most important to witness some moving, beautiful bodies in space and joyous uh, expressions of their appreciation for having the ability to dance. Our concert with Lula Washington's Dance Theater is April 2nd, Saturday, 8 p.m., Nate Holden, Performing Arts. You get to get lost, and that's, that's the best part of going to a show and go into our show. Get lost in question and, and see what we're about.